Hi everybody, Coach Mara here again. I got a good tip for you guys on how to make sure that you prepare properly, that you turn sideways enough to hit your ground strokes, and also how do you make sure that you keep your head still while you're swinging and hitting that ball. That way you can see the ball well. You all know that when you're about to hit, if you move your head together with your shoulders, you end up losing track of the ball here. We have the tendency to hit it out of the sweet spot, sometimes even on the frame. Some of you might have even experienced out there whiffing the ball. It's important to keep the head still while we're swinging. And it's also important to turn sideways enough so that you can line up your stroke correctly, correctly and also benefit from your shoulder turn as you swing to help your arm with pace. If you don't turn well, you're going to end up using only your arm. Plus your opponent can read your shot well, it's hard to disguise it. When you turn better, you also hide your shot better. See as if you're a lefty person out there playing? If you only turn like this, it's your opponent's looking here, the track of the racket here, and you can kind of guess where it's going already before you even hit it. Plus you don't have enough to generate good juice on it here. You have to accelerate your arm only without the help of the shoulders. So yes, we do want to turn sideways very well when we trigger the ground stroke. Both sides, back hands too, one handed, two handed. And we also want to keep our head still as we're hitting the ball. So here's the secret guys, million dollar tip, huh? Make sure that you're touching both shoulders on your chin when you prepare and when you finish. It's like the violin effect, you know, when you violin here, got the chin here touching the shoulder. We all seen that. Left these violin this way. So keeping that in mind, here's the tip guys. When you prepare your forehand, make sure that when you turn your sideways, you go all the way until your left shoulder touches your chin. If your left shoulder hasn't touched your chin yet, you didn't quite turn it up. See, it didn't, didn't touch yet. Look, I let go. You can see the tennis ball symbol here in my shirt. Now if I go until my shoulder touches the chin, look. Now you can't see my t-shirt symbol. So now I'm turned sideways well enough to hit this shot efficiently. Backhand side, same thing. If you turn a little and you don't quite touch it here, look. There you go, you can see my chest. Now you can. Make sure you get the shoulder to touch your chin when you prepare. Now. As you let go and hit your shot, you're going to rotate your shoulders. If you don't rotate your head and you keep it still watching the ball, you're going to notice that the hitting shoulder then comes to the other side of the chin. So on the forehand side of the right hand, there would be like this, the preparation, and then I let go, and then as I hit, if I don't move my head, look, my right shoulder now comes and touches my chin. If my right shoulder doesn't come to touch my chin, it's because I moved my head too soon. Looking to the other side to see where that shot goes. Let's demonstrate lefties here. Turn sideways and your right shoulder touches your chin. Now you let go. As you're hitting the ball, you don't move your head and your left shoulder now touches your chin. It's like an insurance that you did keep your head still if you wait till your hitting shoulder touches the chin. I even joke around with my students saying, hey, if you go out there and practice really hard and do this well the whole time, you're going to come out of here with your chin a little sore here from so much banging the whole time. So that's it, guys. Million dollar tip. Touch your chin when you prepare. Touch your chin when you finish with your shoulders. And you're ensuring that you turn sideways enough to hit a good shot. And you're ensuring that not just you finished well, you did not move your head when you were hitting, so you have a better chance of hitting that ball right in the sweet spot, right? All right, guys, let's get a couple balls here and demonstrate a couple of shots here, touching the shoulder on the chin when you prepare and when you finish. Here we go. Preparation, finish. Again, preparation, finish. I'm gonna do close dance now. Preparation, step in, finish. Lefties out there, preparation, Finish. Shoulder, shoulder. One more time. Lefties. Preparation, right shoulder on the chin. Finish, left shoulder on the chin. Backhand, same thing. 
Two-handed backhand. All right, let's do it. Preparation, right shoulder on the chin, finish. Left shoulder on the chin. One-handed. Right shoulder on the chin. Oh, now it's different. We do not bring the left shoulder onto the chin on the one-handed backhand because we stay sideways to hit the, the, the one-handed back and we do not rotate. So that's the only exception, guys. When you hit the one-handed backhand, you touch the front shoulder when you prepare, and then when you hit, it comes out of the shoulder. I mean, the shoulder comes out of the chin, but the other one does not come around touching the chin. One-handed backhand is the only exception. Let's see here for the lefties. Hit the racket back, the left shoulder touches your shin, and then it stays sideways this way, and your right shoulder does not come here. So for the forehand, shoulder on the chin, shoulder on the chin. Lefty, shoulder on the chin, shoulder on the chin. Two-handed backhand, shoulder on the chin, shoulder on the chin. Two-handed backhand lefty, shoulder on the chin, shoulder on the chin. That's it guys, go out there and do it. Let me know if it works. Cheers, it's a wrap, take care, see you next time.